today I'm going to be unboxing all four deluxe versions of Mopsa X's second English album, The Dreaming. I pre-ordered all four versions along with the Target exclusive version off of Target.com. The Target exclusive versions are exactly the same as the normal ones, they just come with an additional 2022 wall calendar. But online you can't pick your version for the Target exclusive, and even if you buy four copies, they might send you four of the same one. So I wanted to make sure I had all four versions, so I bought each version individually for the non-Target exclusive versions, along with an extra Target exclusive to see which one they would send me. Now the Target exclusive version that I bought from Target.com did arrive in the mail the day after the album came out. That was also the day I was going to see the movie The Dreaming in theaters, so I picked up one more copy of the album at a Target that was right next to the movie theater I saw it at. I'm filming this video on a Monday, a week and a few days after the album came out, and my version 1 and version 2 albums just arrived today. My version 3 and version 4 albums that I bought from Target.com still have not got to me. One of them has not even shipped yet, but luckily because the first album I got in the mail was version 4 and the one that I picked up in stores was version 3, I do have all four versions here today so I can finally do my unboxing for you guys. I have already opened version 4 because I wanted to see what the photo card situation was like, but I have not looked through the booklet or anything like that. All four booklets are the same, so I'm just going to go through the booklet in one of these albums and then we'll look at the photo cards and other inclusions together. So here is version 1. I'm showing it to you in the plastic wrap because I want to point out the hype sticker at the top. It says Monster X The Dreaming includes 88 page photo book, poster, sticker sheet, trading cards, version 1 of 4. And as I said, this is the standard, not target exclusive version of the deluxe album. The spine and the track list on the back. I'll show those more in detail in a moment. Version 2, again, same thing except it says version 2 of 4 at the top. And then version 3 is Target exclusive. This is the one I picked up in person out of Target. And we can see it has the limited edition exclusive 2022 wall calendar. I do like, I didn't even notice until now the hype stickers are actually different too. They're different backgrounds. Version 3 of 4. And as I said, I did already open version 4 because I was trying to figure out what the photo card situation was, but I have not gone through the booklet. I did not originally plan on buying all four versions of this album because of the way their first English album, All About Love, ended up being. I did buy all four versions of that and was pretty disappointed to find out they all had the same photo book. This time around... They did indicate when the albums went up for pre-order that the photo books for the deluxe versions would be the same, so I was expecting that. The reason I did end up buying all four anyway was because in the product descriptions they noted that the trading cards would be different for each version, and I didn't know if that meant that it was going to be two random photo cards, but it was the same set across all versions. I didn't know if it would be a different set of random photo cards for each version. Come to find out, it's actually neither of those things. I did not buy the standard version of the album. I don't know yet if I'm going to or not. I also did not buy any of the member-specific versions from their web store. What I didn't expect was that this time the member versions have exclusive photo cards that are only in those versions. You cannot get them in any of the other versions of the album. And last I checked, the member versions are now sold out on the website. So that is kind of annoying. I really wish I would have bought those now. If I end up finding Minhyuk, Kihyun, and IM's photo cards from those albums for a decent price, I'll probably pick them up. If not, I'm just going to have an incomplete American photo card collection, and I can deal with that. But I do feel like they stepped up the packaging a little bit compared to the first English album. I like the cover designs a lot better. I was not a fan of the cover for All About Love. I still don't know, like, what it's even supposed to be. The member covers were cool, though. I did like those member covers better than the ones for this album. Like, I like the standard cover and the way it all looks together, and I also like each individual cover for this one. I definitely feel like it's a step up there, personally. Um... We have the logo right here, and it says Monsta X, The Dreaming, and then we have some lyrics from the title track. 
says, are we missing the point, missing the meaning? Is it the knowing? Is it the seeing? Or is it the dreaming? Very poetic. And I love the design of the spine, too. I'm really just a sucker for, like, this color scheme and this kind of, like, almost Aurora-esque light design. I just think it's really gorgeous. We've got the logo, Monster X. Is it the knowing, is it the seeing, or is it the dreaming version 1? And they are on a different record label this time. This one was done through BMG. So that honestly might be partially to blame for the improvement in packaging. I don't really know who is in charge of all of that, so I could be wrong. The back design, I'm checking, that is the same for each version. And again, I just think it's so gorgeous with all the different lights. So, so pretty. We have our track listing. There are 10 songs on this album. We have the first single, One Day, the current single, You Problem, and then the B-sides, Tied to Your Body, Whispers in the Dark, Blame Me, Secrets, which is a completely different song from the English song Secrets off of One of a Kind. I really thought it was going to be the same song, but it's completely different. So that's not confusing at all, that they have two different English language songs with the same exact name. We have About Last Night, Better, Blow Your Mind, and The Dreaming. And I liked All About Love. I do. I really do like every song on this album. But I think this album is, like, even better than All About Love. Like, this album is so, so, so good. Like, I will not even be mad if the set list for their tour ends up being really heavy on songs in this album, because I really, really would genuinely love to see every song on this album live. And even though I like the songs on All About Love, I can't say the same thing about that album. Like, there's a few songs from there that I hope they keep on the set list, but I would just love to hear all of these songs live. My personal favorites are Tied to Your Body secrets and about last night but again the whole thing is just so good it's a very solid pop album it almost reminds me of like the modern jonas brothers stuff and i'm a pretty big fan of the jonas brothers so i'm not mad about that at all you problem in particular sounds a lot like jonas brothers what a man gotta do it has the same songwriter and producer so that's why it's just like a stylistic choice that he does, I think, but I think it's pretty fun. I really like that. Like, I really cannot recommend this album highly enough. Even if you don't typically like K-pop and you don't typically like Monsta X, if you like pop music, you will probably like this album. My only complaint is that most of the songs do not have bridges. They're very short. They're trying to get those streaming numbers up, and I hope it works for them, but I do think... Some of the songs could be improved if they were just a little bit longer, but that's just me nitpicking. And then inside, we've got all of our inclusions off to the left here. They're in like a little pocket. That's a little bit difficult to get out. Oh no. Oh no, ooh, I think they're not glued to the page. Uh-oh, that's no good. Uh-oh. So that was pretty unfortunate. What it was was the corner of the poster got caught in between the page and the binding when they were gluing it down. But I pulled the poster out, luckily didn't get torn, there's no glue residue or anything. I will say, though, my first complaint with this packaging, I don't like the way they glued the booklet in. If you can tell, I don't know how well you can tell, they kind of, like, glued the front page to the front cover of the album, and I don't love that they did that. I really wish they would have just laid that flat like they do for the Korean albums. I wonder if it's actually like that for all of them, or if that was just a defect with this one. Yeah, it is like that. At least for version 4 as well, so I presume it would be like that for all of them. That is a choice I don't prefer. We will look at all of the inclusions closer in a minute. First, I want to take a look through this photo book. Oh, 
on the first page again all of these beautiful lights I just think that is so so gorgeous and I've got some more lyrics are we missing the point or is it the breathing I will say that makes a little bit less sense with them cutting out those middle lines there I will say, as much as I like these light aesthetics, so far that's all we've got. We've gotten one, two, three, four, five pages with just logos and lights. Kind of ready to get to some photos. Make it seven. <laughs> we've got the members' names. I am Juhani, Hyungwon, Kihyun, Minhak, and Shonu. I absolutely read those in reverse order. And Shonu did participate in this album. He is in the photo shoot, which is really nice since he wasn't able to be there for rush hour, since he is enlisted currently. Oh, wow. So that's where these photos came from. I saw some pictures on Twitter of Minhyuk from this photo shoot, and I had no idea what it was from. I did not think it was going to be from the English album. That's pretty surprising. You know, I was about to say this feels like something more like I would expect to see in their Korean album, but I'm realizing because of pandemic restrictions, I bet they did have one of their Korean photographers do the photo shoot. That would make a lot of sense, actually. That's really cool and not how I expected this photo book to start off at all. Yeah, these were the Minhyuk photos I was talking about. I was wondering where these were coming from. I did not think it was going to be the dreaming. Wow, these are so pretty. Shonu. I like how they all have like different colored blindfolds too. That's really cool. Oh, I say that and then we have Juhani with another all black one. But okay, wow. That with his all black outfit and the red background, that is a vibe. Very cool. Oh, love the stunning close up of Kihyun right here. That is giving me like a Shine Forever flashbacks. That was such a good music video. But like Kihyun with short black hair with, with the blindfold, very shine forever. And we have I Am. You can tell he did this photo shoot a decent while ago because his hair was pretty short and it's gotten pretty long again. Yeah, those are gorgeous. And we've got some more aesthetic pages. And like, these are very pretty. I, I do like these pages. I just feel like we've had a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, this is the photo shoot I had seen pictures from. I was expecting the photo book to be all like this, something more simple. We've got Kihyun. Juhani. Minhyuk. And this was the photo shoot that they used for the member covers. Man, if they had used this photo shoot for the member covers, they would have sold so many copies of that. Like, can you imagine any of these pictures as an album cover? That would have been so cool. But no, they went with these instead. Like, these are nice, but like, compared to the other photo shoots, yeah. Not, not the coolest option there that you could have gone with. U.S. team. We've got I am. Hyungwon. And Shonu. I will say again though, I do think it's cool that the background is different colors. It adds some variety to it. That is a gorgeous page. That is really gorgeous. Oh, wow. We had another photo shoot. Okay, but here's my question. If they've had at least three different photo shoot concepts, why couldn't they have had each version be like a full photo book of that concept? Missed opportunity, US team. Missed opportunity. But these are so pretty. Oh, wow. I love that picture. I don't know whose hands those are with the flowers, but that is gorgeous. Oh, 
Oh, wow. That shirt? I feel like Lana wore that shirt for one of his solo stages. I'm pretty sure he did, or something very similar to it. Interesting choice, stylist. These pictures are gorgeous. Oh, that one of Jihan? Yeah, wow. I, I'll be honest, I did not expect much at all from this photo book. I thought they were all going to be like this concept. But these other two concepts are beautiful. And I will say they are not, <laughs> this is going to sound kind of shady, but I feel like with the All About Love pictures, there was some like unnecessary photo editing going on. So I really appreciate that that is not the case here. That they look a lot more uh, like themselves. Oh, wow. So pretty. Like, I'm such a broken record right now, but I'm just so shocked by how beautiful this photo shoot is. They look so tan. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And get some more aesthetics. Do we get another photo shoot? Oh my god, we do. See, they have four different photo shoots. Why could they not have had each version be a full photo book of that photo shoot? US team. Like, I, this is absolutely still a massive improvement from All About Love, musically and packaging and photo shoot wise, like all around. But, you know, they, they still could have done a little bit better in my opinion. If they were going to do four versions and four different photo shoots, make each version a different photo shoot. That's just me. It's just a pet peeve of mine when they do different versions of the same photo book, even though I knew it would be that way for this album. Still, it's a pet peeve. <laughs> that is really pretty, though, with the night sky. All of their hair was so short here, I'm not used to it. Another aesthetic picture. Oh, this is cool. Some like Polaroid style photos. That's really cool. I was not expecting that. That's super fun. Oh, and they have them for every member. Okay, I really like these. Yeah, like, I was already highly recommending this album just based on the music alone. But, like, now that I'm actually looking through the photo book... Yeah, absolutely. If you like this album, if you like Monsta X, please pick up a copy of this at your local Target or anywhere else that sells this CD. I know there's other retailers that are supposed to have it as well. Because these photos are gorgeous. I'm just nitpicking because I wish we got more, but, like, this really is gorgeous and worth the money, for sure. I do wish we had a little bit less of these, but... Again, they are better than the ones from the first English album, at least. Oh, wow! This is beautiful. This page right here, like, the lighting. This is, like, magazine photo shoot. Pretty. So good. We're getting close to the end of the photo book. I'm sad. that is the end yeah i don't i don't like the way they glued the photo book in because they did the same thing on the last page y'all don't have to do that you can just glue the spine in please this is not gonna not gonna last well over time i can tell already but the photo book itself gorgeous beautiful and the cd is really pretty too like it's simple it's just the logo and like some different colors but very very pretty So now that we've gushed over how pretty the photo book and CD is, it's time to take a look at our inclusions. So the first thing we have, this is very interesting that they did this this way, 
is the lyrics book. Surprisingly, the lyrics are not in the photo book. You get a separate little lyrics book, which I actually think is neat because this is more like your traditional jewel case lyrics book. So it's a little bit of a throwback. And then you get the full photo book without any pages being taken up by lyrics. I think that's, that's pretty neat that they did it this way. And this is, like, I believe the digital cover of the album, like the standard cover, which, again, just so pretty. I love the design of this album. We have our lyrics for One Day and You Problem, Tied to Your Body and Whispers in the Dark. Oh, was not expecting a photo in here, too. Yeah, this really is, like, a standard jewel case booklet. What a beautiful throwback. Blame Me and Secrets. About Last Night and Better. Oh, two photos. Wow. Blow Your Mind and The Dreaming. And then credits on the back. In addition to that, you also get a sticker sheet. Again, like, every K-pop album now comes with sticker sheets. I don't know when this became such a big trend. Honestly, though, I actually like these better than the ones that came with No Limit. <laughs> then you also get a folded poster, and that is different for each version. Oh, this is tiny. Teeny tiny. So it's just blank on the back. And this is the version 1 poster. I can't show the whole thing on camera, but I can show the whole part that has the boys. The whole, like, top of it is just blank space. So that's interesting. And like I said, this is more of the kind of standard photo shoot I expected from this album. I was not expecting the other photo shoots. Those, like, blew me away with how pretty they were. This photo shoot is fine. It's just, it's not my favorite. And then you get not one, but two photo cards, which is super nice. And here is why I opened my version 4 album before I did the unboxing, because from what I had seen online, people were speculating that the photo cards were not random, but that each version of the album comes with two specific photo cards. Like, if you get version one, you will get these two photo cards, no matter what. And so I wanted to open the first copy I got and see if I got the two cards that everyone was saying you got with that version and confirm if that was true. Because this was the day after release, so not many people had their albums yet. There weren't enough people with the cards to confirm it. Sure enough, I opened version four and it was the two photo cards that everyone else is getting in version four. So at this point, we can confirm that is what the US team did. Which is a very interesting move. I don't think I've ever seen an album do that before. But that is a way to get people to buy all four versions, even though the books are the same, because they want all the different photo cards. So for version one, we get one group photo card and one member photo card. And the backs are essentially the same, but if it's a member photo card, it will have their name at the top. So we can see here, this one is Shonu. And again, the photo cards, I think, are a lot better than the ones from All About Love. They're still not as good as the ones from their Korean albums, but I definitely think they're a step up. They're a lot less flimsy. So the group card that you get in this version is from the set of the One Day music video. And these are matte, too. That's another difference. Korean photo cards are usually glossy. And then Shonu. Yeah, the photo cards are from the same main photo shoot that the member cover photos are from. That is another thing. I do wish that these were selfie cards, but this is what they do for the Japanese photo cards. And honestly, that is what the photo cards for this album remind me the most of, are the Japanese album photo cards. Because they're a little bit different from the Korean ones, but still nice, you know? So that is everything that comes with version 1. And for Lots of X, normally I just collect Minhyuk, Kihyun, and I Am. 
but for the first English album, I ended up with everyone's cards, and because of the way they did the photo cards this album, I do think I'm going to keep everyone's photo cards for the deluxe version. For version 2, I'm not going to go through the photo book because it's the same, I'm just going to show you the inclusions. Unfortunately, I didn't realize until I took the plastic wrap off. This one got damaged in transit quite a bit. I don't know how well you can tell on camera, it's kind of hard to see within the glare. Yeah, there you go. Like, where the inclusions are inside the album, it like, pressed down on them and got really creased up on the front. The corner too. And the back is way worse, like where the CD is, that got all messed up. So that is really unfortunate. Oh, and the spine too. How did I not notice this? Like this is super obvious now that I'm looking at it. That is super unfortunate. So inside, oh no, these got stuck in the glue too. I cannot believe that was not an isolated issue. Hold on, I've got to rescue my inclusions again. Uh, that ain't, that ain't supposed to look like that. Um, no. Yeah, this one, wow, I thought my first one was in trouble. This one has definitely seen better days. Ugh. Okay, yep. Yeah, that one ripped some of the glue off. Yeah, ugh, this one is not in great condition. Yeah, next time I go to Target, I'm definitely going to see if I can swap this out. Hopefully they'll have a version 2 that I can swap it out with. Because that is not supposed to be like that. Oof. Well, the good news is I was able to stick it back down a bit, but still, overall, this one is... This one has seen better days. You can see, even the, the lyrics book, the glue did stick to that one a lot more. Ugh. That is really unfortunate. I can't believe that happened to two different albums. Wow. But the stickers, we can see even the stickers are slightly different. The first ones were yellow. These ones are pink. And that is wild to me that they took the time to make different sticker designs, but didn't make the booklets different. Okay. Choices. Oh no! It looks like you even got the corner of the poster. That's so sad. It is a different poster, as we can see. This one is from the One Day Music Video Shoot. Very cool. And then for the photo cards, for this one you get two different member photo cards. Young one and I am. And again, from the same photo shoot. I'm pretty sure that picture was in the booklet too. They might all be. But I feel like I would specifically remember seeing that one. Next we have version 3, which is my favorite cover. I like that it's got all the different lights. That one looks very cool to me. This is our first Target exclusive version, so we'll get to take a look at the calendar. Yeah, luckily it doesn't look like these have the problems that the other two did with stuff being stuck to the binding. So that's a relief, at least. So for the stickers, they are blue this time. Very nice. This is the Target exclusive calendar, which is a calendar poster to be more specific. You can see it says Monsex 2022. And it has these little pictures of them at the bottom. Oh, and it has their birthdays written next to it. That's kind of cute. Maybe if you're a new fan who doesn't know much about them. I can see how that would be a cute inclusion. But, like, this is no season's greetings, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it is a cute inclusion. It is. But, as a longtime K pop fan, knowing what they do with their season's greetings every year, that is definitely on the simpler side. But it's still cute and useful. We've got our 
Nerx book again. And then the poster for this version, which I think might be my favorite of the different posters. I think this one is really pretty. It's so skinny. But I think this one is cool with like the clocks and the candles behind them. I think that looks really pretty. And I feel like they fill up the space on this poster better than the other two. The other two had a lot of empty space. And then the photo cards for this one. Again, you get a group one and a member one. The group one this time is the same photo shoot as the poster. So that's pretty cool. And then the member photo card is to the honey. Very cute. And then last but not least, we have version four. And I loved that this was the first one I got in the mail because the member photo cards for this version, of course, are Minhyuk and Kihyun, who are my main two biases in Monsta X. So I thought that was pretty fun that the first one I got had their photo cards. Again, I do wish that these were selfies or even just, I don't know, photos from a more interesting photo shoot. Because this photo shoot is my least favorite from the album. But again, I feel like these are on par with a lot of their Japanese photo cards. I might say I even like these a little bit better than some of the Japanese photo cards. Because some of those have some weird Photoshop going on. So I do like these. I think these are a lot better than the ones we got for All About Love, for sure. The poster is the same, so I'm not going to show that one. And I think these stickers are my favorite as well, because they are all of the colors combined. That in particular looks so cool to me. The logo with all the different colors, very pretty. Booklet is the same as well, and then the poster. I will nitpick one more time and say that because all the posters are different, I really do wish they had done a different photo book for each version. I really do. They absolutely could have. I know they took more pictures for each version. And this is the only poster that is horizontal, which is very interesting. Because I feel like most K-pop posters are horizontal. But yeah, overall, I am pretty impressed with the packaging for these albums, I have to be honest. My expectations were not very high after All About Love. And again, that's not on Monsta X at all. They always do a great job. It's just the company and whoever is in charge of putting the packaging together. And I know that is not Monsta X. All About Love was definitely not my favorite packaging-wise. There was a lot of room for improvement, and... I really do think they improve a lot with the dreaming. I really enjoy this album, musically and packaging wise. I have a few nitpicks, but overall, definitely a solid improvement from All About Love, and I highly, highly recommend. But that is it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more K-pop hauls or unboxings like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel, and if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.